Today I am trying out my new Lux Mini Peak XL tent. It's a TP construction tent with um, enough space for uh, two to three persons and a tent stove, which is very, very convenient. So I've been burning here now for maybe 30 minutes. I've made my dinner and it's very warm inside here now. So as you can see, there is a grand opening here and it's the same opening on the other side. Uh, maybe I should open that one as well because it's uh, fairly hot inside. I don't have a, a thermometer uh, with me now, but I guess it's around 25-30 um, degrees Celsius inside the tent now. So it's um, kind of a lightweight tent, not ultra light, lightweight, but it weighs in about 2 kilos. And uh, as I said, it's a space enough for 3 persons. But uh, then you can't have the inner. So the inner here is um, reducing the space a bit. On the other hand, um, it's a great tent for one person or two persons. If I uh, go alone on a trip like this and I bring both the tent and the um, tent stove, it weighs in about four kilos. So then it's not so lightweight anymore, but you don't need to have like uh, another gas stove or uh, propane boxes and so on because you have this as long as you have access for firewood. So I think it's a great tent. It's, um, it's very versatile because of the openings and you can, uh, you can bring your inner if you want to or you can just drop it. You can use it as a tarp. You can have this tent stove. Uh, and if you really have to cram in a lot of persons here, I, I guess it's space for maybe four if you just uh, if you just lie tight on, on the ground. I'm not going to sleep outside this night. I just wanted to take out my tent and uh, mount it and um, see how it was. And uh, of course also try my, uh, my tent stuff and see uh, how efficient it is in a small tent like this. Because this tent is it's very small compared to a um, um, more common teepee which is usually space for maybe five or seven persons or even more. Uh, so I wanted to see how much uh, warm it produces and how much 
space this temp stove takes because it kind of limits the space uh, a bit because the temp stove is uh, maybe 80 centimeters, almost a meter from the side. So I can't really use this space for anything other than maybe some uh, luggage and, and firewood as I did. And this tent pole is not uh, standard. You have to buy this one in addition to the tent. It's an adjustable pole. And uh, I think it goes from 130 centimeters to 160 centimeters. Other people, they, they uh, use trekking poles as uh, a substitute for this adjustable pole. But I don't use trekking poles. So um, uh, that means that um, I have to add around 300 grams to the base weight. Um, if I didn't want to, uh, to bring this pole, I could just uh, use a kind of a tree or a branch. So let's talk about pros and cons. The pros is, um, I think, the height and the versatility, and uh, it's quite lightweight. It's also quite cheap, around, I paid around $200 for it. Uh, so um, it's not so high priced. So about the cons. It's not a very wind-resistant tent, um, not like the dome tents. You don't have um, guy lines everywhere, and uh, because of the height as well, it um, takes fairly much wind. So um, in, in strong wind conditions, I would maybe have another tent. But for the forest and, and, and for the woods like this, uh, which is more protected, it's, it's not a problem at all. And uh, I mean, <clears throat> Not everyone have these tent stuffs and, and this kind of tent is is designed for a tent stuff. So if you don't want to use another maybe two, three, four, five hundred dollars on a tent stuff, maybe you should take another tent. But all in all, it's um, it's definitely a, a tent I would recommend for um, for a use where you don't um, think too much about the weight and not too much about the space. But uh, you want to have um, a bit of comfort during the night uh, if you have access to firewood. So I think that um, I will use this quite much when I'm not going on very long trips. Maybe shorter, shorter trips uh, and uh, where I'm not carrying too much in my rucksack.